file in this video, we're going to be looking at how to do save as within VBA. We're going to be looking at how to save these different file formats. Save as is actually really easy if you're saving the same file with the same name. If you are not saving the, saving the same file as the same name, then it is a little bit more difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt F11. It's going to take you to your Visual Basic Editor, and we've got some code here. So we're going to go line by line. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do save as without a warning. If we hit F Eight. It's going to walk us through line by line. We're going to grab the file name. I just want to print that in my immediate window using debug.print. And then there we have it. We've got conquering save as. That's the file name. That's the location. We're going to turn application display alert. That means that we're not going to get a warning whether we want to save this or not. It's just going to save it right over. So I did save as. And it will, it actually, if I went and looked at this, this is my exact time right now. That would have updated to right now. So I'm going to print that out. That's the name. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do some kind of uh, tricky saves, which is we're going to grab the path. We're going to rename the file. Um, you take the path that it's currently in. You add a uh, forward slash and whatever the extension is. And I'll show you what that path looks like here, which is with no extension. And then I'm just going to save that as a path. And so what we're going to get is we're going to get a workbook. And because Excel is smart, it's like, oh, well, I think this is an XLM file. That's how it's going to save it. And if we grab that, now we've got a new file. Now you'll notice my file changed. So I started off with conquering save as, and now the file that I'm actually in is called macro file with no extensions. Okay, so let's do this. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the extension of that file. So instead of being um, dot x xlsm or a macro file we're going to give that pi that extension a dot csv so we're going to click on that and we will know that we actually saved a file we pull that up look there it is and you'll notice that because the extension was a csv it's going to think that it is an excel uh, csv file and you'll notice that it's actually a CSV file up here in Excel as well. If I hit debug print, it's going to give me that. Now, what's the proper way to do this? This is key. Uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to use this FSO create object. It's going to strip out the, it's going to give us what the extension is. And so if we want the extension of this file that we're currently in, it's going to be an extension of XLSM. We're going to grab that file. We're going to get it. We're going to grab it. We're going to take it. Um, out and this is going to give us the the length of the full name so all we're doing is we're doing a left this is the file we're going to subtract that and that's going to give us uh, this right here which let's actually just pull in it put in a debug print now what's interesting is I'm doing debug print here and which works great but you will notice that I'm actually not on a file I'm actually in a CSV file now the reason this came in as um, a different, it came as an XLSM, that's because I used file name, which happens to be up here. So um, hopefully that's not super confusing. But let's go back up to here, we're going to drag and drop. F8, we're going to print, and that's going to give us the name of the, name of the, the full name with no extension, which is just simply a string. We haven't saved anything yet, it's just a string. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a XLSM file, which happens to be a file number 52. These are your file formats. They live right there. We're going to hit, I'm going to open up this window, and we're going to go one by one. So hit F8, and that's going to save it. Now notice we've saved that file. Um, now what's interesting is that's an oversave right there. Um, right here we're going to save it as save as file formats. We're going to save it as an XLS, XLSB, which is a binary file. There's our binary worksheet. We're going to hit it again. Now we've got an XLS file right there. Old school right there. If you want to go old school, that's the way to do it. If you want to go file without full, without code, macro non-macro enabled, there we go. That's in there as well. And then the next thing we're going to do is the CSV file. So we're going to add all those in. Now you'll notice no, no warning showed up because I did have application display alerts off. Now we're going to best practice is if you've turned that off, turn it back on. And we're going to end. And we're going to end. 
And that is how you do save as with all these different file types. Can be confusing, but hopefully this helps you get through it. Uh, the code is, a code is below and subscribe if you haven't already.